So this video is created uh, at the request of Sandy and she wanted to know how to um, put images or pictures inside of a shape or to change the image. Um, and PowerPoint has some wonderful editing things that you can do that you may not realize. So I'm going to show you some cool tips here. So we're going to just go to the next slide in PowerPoint and I'm going to insert picture. I'm going to just start by grabbing one of these pictures and the first thing that you can do when you bring in a picture the picture tools comes on and there's the formatting and you can do all these sorts of great style things um, just by putting a new frame on there. So depending on her request this might be all that she needs. However there are so many other great things I just have to show you a few. Under corrections, let's say your picture, the resolution, the contrast wasn't quite what you wanted, you can adjust the brightness and contrast. I'll choose that one. You can also colorize it. So if you wanted to have a color wash to match, say, the rest of your document, you could colorize the whole thing. Uh, there are also what are called artistic effects that may be applicable depending on your type of image. This one, it won't work, but there are some different artistic effects that you can play with. It does distort the image, but you might find something that you like. You can change the picture border. Okay. Uh, and the picture effects as far as the glow, or the reflection, lots of different things. Now, here is something that's very cool, and that's cropping. So let's make this picture even bigger. I'm just dragging it by the corners. If you drag from any of the circles in the corners, it's going to change proportionally. If you uh, drag by any of the squares, it's going to be disproportionately. As you can see, the image gets warped. These uh, students or people get uh, resized. So let's do the crop here. And let me show you what that does. That allows you to, and there's nothing against this fellow on the side, but let's say we don't want him in the picture. We can crop that, and now he's no longer in part of that picture. If we um, turn the crop back on, we could also do something where we move the entire picture and put the crop on again, and now you can see that uh, there's actually white space back here, so you could put like another text box um, or something to identify these students or do something really cool like that. So let's do insert and text box, and we'll just put like, you know, cool people. Alrighty, and you could rotate that if you'd like. You can change the text direction. And so I'll rotate that back stretch this out and I don't want to hit enter. Okay. You could do something like that. Right. How, however you want, whatever's gonna work for you to make your image more interesting than just a simple picture. So we'll make that a little bigger. I think we'll go with 36. That'll be good. Alright, so that's one thing that you can do as far as the imaging. I'm going to insert another new slide. And what you can also do is put your picture inside a shape. So I'm going to go to Insert and choose Shapes. And you can choose any one of these shapes. Absolutely doesn't matter. I'm going to choose the sunshine. Okay, and here's our sun. And now I'm going to right click on it. I am using a Windows machine. Um, and I'm going to choose Format Shape. And for the fill, I'm going to choose a picture or texture fill. If I choose picture, picture or texture, I can go to a file and go back to my folder and I'll just choose one of the other pictures and I'll insert. Oh, and yes, these were, this is a pile of books and two people here may not be the perfect picture, but that's okay. If I turn it on, 
This gives me all the same abilities uh, within that shape. And if I go to the corners, I can still resize. Yeah. And then when I turn off the crop, you'll see that pokes through. If I want to choose a different picture, I just select a different one, and there it is. Um, and now if I resize, you'll see that that's resizing the whole shape. So this is when I might want to crop and resize this. And that way, the circle of people is right here. And then turn and crop again. Okay. So, I mean, that might have been just as great in a circle, but here it is in the sunshine. So that's a, just a quick demonstration on how easy it is to add pictures into uh, particular shapes or to customize your pictures with artistic effects. Hope you found it helpful. Have a great day.